Hello, brothers and sisters in Christ. I've got a prophecy from the Lord here I want to share with you. And it's called, I am preparing the earth for my return. The person who submitted it, wherever uh, grafted in Team Jesus put this on their website. So I'm sure they went over it and prayed over it. But it's, it's from a sister in the Lord. I am preparing the earth for my return. And it's dated, well, it just says 14 hours ago. Uh, dated November 12th. I am preparing the earth for my return. This is one of my favorite pictures, and I think I'm going to capture it and use it for my upload. Let's see, I have to click on new. This I like this little snapshot thing on my camera. Capture. Okay, now I've got my thumbnail. Jesus in the clouds with angels blowing their trumpets. Hallelujah. Okay, now, uh-oh. What happened to the... Let me pull this back up. What did I do? Hold on, bear with me. I have to go over here and click back on it again from email. Kathy emails me this stuff that's good that I like and say send me an email to that or a link to that <laughs> some she just sends on her own but she knows I want to share it here we go first is scripture and this gospel of the kingdom will be proclaimed throughout the whole world as a testimony to all nations and then the end will come Matthew 24 14 and you know the internet has made that possible for as were the days of Noah, so will be the coming of the Son of Man. For as in those days before the flood, they were eating and drinking, marrying and giving in marriage, until the day when Noah entered the ark, and they were unaware, until the flood came and swept them all away. So will be the coming of the Son of Man. That's Matthew 24, verses 37 to 39. Therefore, God has highly exalted him and bestowed on him the name that is above every name, so that at the name of Jesus every knee should bow, in heaven and on earth and under the earth. And every tongue confess that Jesus Christ is Lord, to the glory of God the Father. I cannot wait for that moment. That's Philippians 2, verses 9 through 11. All right, this is the message. I will reveal my heart to you. I will make plain to you what it is that I desire to communicate in this day. I will show you things to come. I will give detail of what you can expect. So do not be anxious about anything. But put your trust in me. I am calling to those who have ears to hear. I am speaking loudly and clearly in this day of all that is about to take place. I am making my ways known to men. I am reaching far and wide to bring all things into obedience with my will and purpose. For I purpose to bring the nations to the foot of the cross. I am preparing the earth for my return. All that you see taking place fits in with my end time line of events. There is nothing that is out of my control. I have allowed the enemy much leeway, but it is to test the hearts of all men. For it is in times of war, famine, pestilence, and great turbulence, that the hearts of the people are tested. But I have held out a lifeline to those going down in peril. I have offered my son, that whoever calls upon his name shall be saved. Don't forget that. I have extended my hand to those in need. 
and I have made my name known throughout the earth. It is on the lips of men from every tribe and tongue of every nation. Some use it to curse their enemy. Some use it to enthrone me as king of their lives. But to all a choice has been given. You say that not every man has heard or had opportunity, but I say that I have given opportunity to all upon the face of the earth. The story has been told throughout the ages and has filtered down through the generations. For in every generation I have left a remnant of those who truly are mine. The hearts of all men living upon the earth shall be tested in the generation of my return, and not one will be with excuse. For my witnesses are amongst them, and the testimony of Jesus Christ has reached to the ends of the earth. This is the promise to you and your offspring, that the way has been made for you to enter into the ark that is prepared for those who believe the message preached to them that salvation is in no other name but the name of Jesus who shed his blood to ransom men. The day is coming when the doors will be closed and the rains will come and wash away the wicked. For it will be as in the days of Noah when many shall mock and scoff that I shall return. Take everything you hear as prophecy to the Lord and ask Him for confirmation on anything you haven't heard before or don't understand. All right. With that, I'll say, let me pull my camera up here. Whoops. Oh, I made it big. How did I do that? Let me see that. How about that? <laughs> I never made it full size before. Okay, with that, I'll see. Y'all have a blessed day. If it's Saturday for you, I pray you're enjoying it and that you have decent weather. And even if not, I pray that whatever you're doing indoors is with the Lord and full of joy. And for everybody else that sees this later, I pray you're blessed in whatever circumstance you're in. Please keep me in your prayers as I keep you in mine. I plead the blood of Jesus over this video and over each and every single one of us and our devices and our internet connections. With that, I'll say bye for now. I'll talk to you later.